In contrast to calendaring, which normally makes a fabric smooth, firmer, and shiny, the mechanical finish of suedeing makes knit or woven fabrics feel softer and appear more textured. One effect? The surface can be made to resemble suede leather. How do sanders work? Fabric, open to its full width, is put in contact with one or more abrasive rolls that move at a much higher surface speed than the fabric. There are basically two types. The sanding action associated with the first type, the multi-roll sander, results from only surface or tension contact. The surface path for the multi-roll sander reveals that the fabric undulates under an idler roll and over an abrasive roll, then continues on to the next repeating sanding unit, so it becomes subject to a series of abrasive rolls. Where idler rolls are located affects the result. The lower the idler rolls are in relationship to the sanding rolls, the greater the angle of wrap on the fabric, which results in more abrasion. Multi-roll sanders allow for different levels of aggressiveness and can be adapted to use only one grit or different levels on each of the rolls. This system is more forgiving but less precise in application than the next type of suading machine we discuss. This machine, called a pressure or gap sander, has only one roll of sandpaper, but added pressure is applied as fabric runs through a precisely set gap between the sanding roll and pressure roll. This gap must be less than the thickness of the fabric. The fabric is pushed with force onto the sandpaper. The action of the faster moving abrasive roll against the fabric cuts the fabric to a precisely set thickness, to ten thousandths of an inch. Another common mechanical finishing method that appears to rip and tear at the surface rather than cut is napping. Napped fabric produces pile a fabric effect where fibers are caused to protrude in a dense or high population on the surface. This imparts a feel that is pleasant and plush. To achieve this effect, the napping system employs up to 30 raising or worker rolls that are covered with wire points. Wires are bent and arranged so that points strike the surface of the fabric in one of two ways. One roll contains wires with points that directly strike the surface of the yarns in the fabric in a piercing way. This roll, referred to as the counterpile roll, pulls fibers from the surface in an unorganized manner. A second roll uses the backs of the bent wire points to strike the fabric in a more combing manner. This roll, referred to as the pile roller, organizes the fibers that have already lifted from the fabric and makes them parallel. By combining the action of the two rollers, you can get more counterpile action which causes fibers to be random and uneven. Or you can get more pile action, which causes fibers to tuck back into a smoother surface. The speed relation between the counterpile and pile rolls and the type of wire has a big impact on the effect achieved. Rollers can be in combinations other than pairs, producing single action, double action, and nappers for knit goods. To give napped fabrics a uniform and even pile height, random length fibers can be removed by shearing. Here's how shearing is achieved. A fabric with fibers, yarns, or loops protruding from the surface is precisely presented to the cutting point of a rotating cylinder and a rigid shearing blade. On the cylinder, multiple spiraling cutting blades create a scissors cutting action as they cross the rigid and straight shearing blade. As a result, the tips of the fiber or yarns are accurately cut across the width of the fabric. With this system, it's important that the blades are aligned properly or the fabric and blades can be damaged. Here's a sample of knitted velour, a terry loop fabric that has been sheared. Tips of the loops have been cut off so yarns are even in height and spacing. This processing creates a lustrous fabric. More elaborate sculptured effects where textured pile is high and low, can be produced when shearing machines are specially modified. The smoothness or texture of shearing, the piles of napping, and the suede appearance of sanding are each effects that enhance the appeal of many different popular fabrics.